I'm on page 20 in your packet, and this is the problem of the day page. There are five problems actually on here, and I would like you to do this entire page on your own, um, come up with the correct equations, watch your variables um, instead of y equals kx. Sometimes you're going to be using a d and a t or an a and a c. So pay attention to the variables on here when you're writing the equations. Um, and answer these questions. We'll go over them tomorrow in class. Next page. Lesson 5, solving direct proportion problems. Well, we've already been doing this. This is just a little more practice of it. Uh, number 1 here says, for every $150 that Susan earns, she donates $20 to a charity. Last month, Susan donated $32 to a charity. How much did she earn last month? So I'm going to set up a proportion like it says here, method 1, and I'm going to do earned over donated. So for every $150, she was donating $20 to a charity. Well, what happens if she donates $32 to a charity? How much did she earn? And yes, I can simplify this by taking a 10 out of both the numerator and denominator on the left, and I get 2x equals uh, 32 times 15, which is 480. So dividing by 2, I get x equals uh, 240. So $240. That's doing it proportionally. Method 2 says use a direct proportion equation. So since the money donated to charity came second, that would come second. That would be my x. So y divided by x would be 150 divided by 20. That would give me that my constant is 7.5. So y equals 7.5 times x. Now they're telling me that x is $32. So y equals 7.5 times 32. And when you multiply 7.5 times 32, you get 240. And that would be $240. Next question. For every 200 microchips produced in a factory, there are eight defective microchips. If there were 33 defective microchips, how many microchips did the factory produce? So microchips that were good, so I'm going to call them MCs, over the defective ones. And 200 microchips produces eight defective so if I had 33 defective, that would go in the denominator. How many would that be in the numerator? How many would have been produced? So product of the means, 8x, has to equal the product of the extremes. 33 times 2 is 66. Bring along those two zeros. And dividing by 8 on both sides, I would get that x equals 825. So 825 must have been produced, 825 microchips. And I'm going to abbreviate it, M-chips. Use a direct proportion equation. So y over x equals k. And what came first was the 200 microchips over the defective ones, 200 divided by 8. would be 25, so y equals kx. So now I have that 25 times 33 would be y equals 825. So I have 825 microchips. Both um, similar 
ways. One is doing it in one step, uh, the method two using the direct proportion uh, equation, and the other one using a proportion does it in two steps. You have to multiply and then divide. Y is directly proportional to X. So whatever comes first goes on top. So I always say first, top, and it also means it's on the left side of the equation. First, top, left. Y is directly proportional to X. Y equals 280 and X equals 56. Write an equation that relates Y and X. So I'm going to first divide Y over X to get my constant, and that's 280 over 56, which equals 5. So my equation, write the equation, Y equals 5X. Find Y when X is 3. So Y equals 5 times 3. So that would be 15. Find X when Y is 336. So put it in for Y. 336 equals 5X. I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides. And I'll get that 67 and 2 tenths equals that X. Number 4. M varies directly with N. M is 7 and N is 28. And your instinct is, oh, I want to put that 28 on the top. But M came first, so that goes on the top. So it's M over N equals K. And I get 7 over 28. Much easier if it was 28 over 7. Well, that equals 1 fourth, or it equals 25 hundredths. So write an equation that relates M and N. So M goes on the left because it came first. M equals 25 hundredths of N. Find M when N is 30. Well, M would equal 25 hundredths times 30. Well, that would give me 7 and a half. I could use the fraction as well, 1 fourth. Uh, find N when M is 18. So 18 equals 25 hundredths of what N? Well, I'm going to divide by 25 hundredths. And I get that 72 equals N. And that's it for today's video. Paying attention to whatever comes first, top, left, direct proportion problems.